You know, I said today that I would be giving you the formula for prosperity and happiness, and I'm just going to give it to you in parts. One of the things that you have to do if you want to prosper is come to that point in your life where you make up your mind that prosperity is for you personally. Write that in your hearts, write it on paper if you have it. Because I'm not going to preach too much of a formal sermon. I'm going to give you parts of this success philosophy as I go along. You must come to a point of decision if you want to prosper. Come to a point of decision that prosperity is for me. A part of the formula of prosperity is to make a decision to prosper. Say with me right now these words. I decide right now that prosperity is for me personally. Now that's a part of the formula of prosperity. Decide to prosper. So say again with me, I decide to prosper. You've got to make a decision. I want to give you some parts, some other parts of the formula for your prosperity and happiness. From my favorite book. And not only that, let me tell you, at the end of this service, I'm going to help you put this formula of prosperity and happiness into action so that it will start working for you and blessing you from this moment. Now, you heard the young lady who just talked to us about how she had flunked out of college and got back in and made all A's, you heard her say that she wanted something while she was in college, namely a car, and she learned from me how to visualize for it. And I see a lot of my students who come to the meetings here in Los Angeles when I'm here to teach in the seminars and in the lectures. And you know that at the close of those services, I usually have a visualization prayer treatment to help you get what you want. It's a visualization prayer treatment for your health, happiness, love, success, prosperity, and money. And may I say to you, in a few minutes at the close of this service, I am going to give you a visualization prayer treatment to help you get what you want. So you better hang around. How many of you standing here today, you can think of something or some things in particular that you want in your life? Let me see your hands. Greetings, bunch of episodes. Look at that. God bless you. You're honest, yes. And God has inspired us to want good. Well, I want to go through the visualization prayer treatment with you in a few minutes at the end of the service, so don't leave before you get that. And if there's something special, something good that you want, I want you to get it right on the top of your heart. Get it right on the top of your mind and keep it there and we're going to visualize together for it and you watch and see what happens we're talking about success and prosperity so what is prosperity prosperity is having success and plenty of what you need and want i want to say that again prosperity is having success and plenty of what you need and want. I'm going to say it again and have you repeat it after me. Prosperity is, Prosperity is having success, and, success and, plenty and plenty of what you need and want. Now, does that sound like prosperity? Now I want to share with you my definition of happiness. To me, happiness is enjoying the joy of living. So say with me, enjoying the joy of living. 
Happiness is also loving and being loved. Say with me, loving and being loved. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, God has always had instructions for the prosperity of his people. And I want to read to you some of these expressions from the Holy Bible, from 2 Chronicles, the 20th chapter, and the 20th verse. And repeat it after me. Believe in the Lord your God. Believe in the Lord your God. So shall you be established. So shall you be established. Believe his prophets. Believe his prophets. So shall you prosper. So shall you prosper. I'm reading these scriptures because it may surprise some people to know that God is interested in your prosperity. Some people, you know, have made some kind of vow of poverty. Some people say, well, maybe if I prosper too much, I won't love the Lord. I don't know about you, but I can love the Lord a lot better when I have money to pay my bills and meet my needs. you can love God better when you have money to pay your bills and meet your needs. Yeah. If so, say me. I don't know what concept of God you serve, but I serve the concept of God that David mentioned in the 23rd Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. The 20. Or rather, the 35th Psalm, the 27th verse. Repeat after me. The Lord has pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. Not only that, but ladies and gentlemen, God has put certain abilities within you. God has put certain talents within you. And you are commanded to be all that you can be to do all the good that you can do and to have all the good that God intends for you to have. I'm having you stand because I, I want your mind to be at attention. I'll let you sit in just a couple of minutes, but I want you to open your heart to these success ideas. I love Jesus' formula of success found in the sixth chapter of St. Matthew and the 33rd verse. I love it. And I want to share it with you again as I do on these broadcasts and on these telecasts. Here is Jesus' formula for your success, for your prosperity, for your happiness. Seek you first, Seek you first. the kingdom of God his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Is that in the book, children? We're going to say it again because, you know, sometimes people will try to give you the idea that Christianity is a be nothing, do nothing, have nothing religion. But I say to you that Christianity is not a be nothing, do nothing, have nothing religion. The kingdom of God that we ought to seek is within us. Too many people are looking for God outside of themselves. People look for God on the mountains, in the ocean. They look for God in a church building. But Jesus said, the kingdom of God is within you. And when you find the presence of God, the power of God, the potential of God, the goodness of God within your being, then all that you need will be added unto you. Ladies and gentlemen, in just a few minutes, before we leave this service, I want to have with you, as I said before, the visualization prayer treatment.
to help you receive the good that you desire, the good that you need. And I'm even going to make a dare. I dare you in this closing prayer, in this closing visualization treatment, to have right at the top of your mind some good that you desire, something good that you want to happen, something good that you want to receive, something good that you want to do. I dare you to have it at the top of your mind just before we leave in a few minutes and have this visualization prayer treatment. Let's pray now before we go home. Now this is going to be a different kind of prayer. Stretch your legs out. Whatever good you desire, get it at the very top of your mind, at the very top of your heart right now and think about it. Lean back, get as comfortable as you can. We're not going to pray hard, we're going to pray easy. The reason some of you don't get your prayers answered is because you pray too hard. Please, Jesus. Oh, Lord. We're going to pray easy and we're going to get results. Now, as you lean back, I want you to tilt your chin slightly upward because the Bible says, I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. Now, close your two outer eyes and open that one inter inner eye of faith and repeat this visualization prayer with me. I now enter into my secret closet and I shut the door. I shut out doubt and fear. And I shut in with faith and love. I enter into the theater of my mind. And I look upon the stage of my imagination. And I see myself. I see myself as I wish to be. I see myself being what I want to be. And I see myself doing what I want to do. I see it. I feel it. It is wonderful. Thank you, God, in me. I see myself as a healthy person. Everything that is not healthy has dropped away from me. Thank you, God, in me. I see myself as a loving person. I see myself loving and being loved in divine order. The love of God in my heart brings all of the right people into my life for every right purpose. And the wrong people can't come near me because I am enfolded by the love of God. Thank you, God, in me. I see myself as a successful person. I see myself moving from success to success. I see myself as a prosperous person. I see myself moving from prosperity to prosperity. Thank you, God, in me. I see myself having more money than I've ever had in my life. Thank you, God, in me. I see it. I feel it. I see myself enjoying more money more. More than ever. I do not serve money. Money serves me. Money loves me. Money loves to fill my hands and pockets to fill my bank accounts. 
I see myself having money making money. Money making money. It feels wonderful. I do write about money. And God blesses me with money. Thank you, God, in me. So it is. It cannot be otherwise. And I rejoice because of it. Open your eyes slowly. Ladies and gentlemen, before you go to sleep at night, do as I have just taught you to do. Close your eyes and see yourself as you wish to be. And repeat these affirmations, seeing and feeling yourself, being, doing, and having the good that you desire. Let us stand for the benediction. And now the very presence, the very power, the goodness, the courage, the healing, the blessing, all of the unlimited good that God is, go with you, above you and beneath you, around you, behind you, within you and before you, and make smooth, beautiful, and perfect your way. Amen.